Welcome. We've come to Govardhan Hill, a very famous hill in India. And just beside this hill, we've come to the most auspicious ashram known as the Srila Sridhar Swami Seva Ashram. So we're going to give you a little introduction today and try to encourage you to see the value of devotion to the Lord under the affectionate guidance of Govardhan, the affectionate guidance of Sri Guru and the Vaishnavas. Everything that we do in spiritual life begins with Guru. Without a spiritual preceptor, then it is not possible for us to understand properly what is the spiritual nature of the Dharm, the spiritual nature of the scripture, the spiritual nature of the personalities. So first we will come and meet our wonderful, affectionate Gurudev, Srila Bhaktisunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. We'll meet him here at his Pushpa Samadhi, the place where here in Govardhan he is worshipped. Coming here, we feel his presence very strongly in his murti form. This place we can consider is actually the dearmost place of Srila Govinda Maharaj. He wished to come here to retire from the management and big responsibilities of running the mission and in his later life to write and reveal many truths. So naturally there is the guru, there is the practitioners, the devotees and there is the deity. So now we shall go and have darshan of the deity here. Krishna revealed that Govardhan Hill is non-different from himself. So it is an established uh, tradition, an established fact that the Govardhan stone is non-different from Krishna. Jai Shri Anugiri Raju Ki Jai Anugiri Raj and this deity was here already but it was hidden underground and when Gurudev was making arrangement for the foundation and for the uh, digging of the water tank underneath the ground here then at that time the workers came across this large, what they thought immediately, oh, this is a large Govardhan Shila, a large stone from Govardhan Hill. And then Gurudev had it confirmed with the um, local uh, pandas, those who are expert in identifying the, uh, what is really a Govardhan Shila and what is not. And not only that, they clearly showed that this deity has been worshipped previously and in some unknown long time in the past, it has been uh, covered over here, perhaps from the time when uh, different invaders have come through and have damaged deities in the past and the Pujaris were afraid and so they hid the deity. It is possible, we don't know the history as such. But self-manifest or manifest himself here for the worship of uh, Srila Gurudev and the devotees here, this is the deity that is worshipped in actually a very unique temple. We'll see from outside shortly its nature and characteristic. Gurudev would say actually, first we will serve Vaishnava, then Vishnu. And first actually Giriraj was in a very humble small uh, temple here uh, to keep the sun and the rain etc. off. His puja took place. But during that time, Gurudev made some facility for the devotees to stay. Our connection from the material world to the upper world is through service and in the upper world our life is entirely service. So this is the first building. <laughs> it is oh it opens up into this U-shaped building two stories and the roof. The roof is very clean, beautiful place, especially in the summer for resting. And Srila Gurudev's room was here. 
And Gurudev sat at the end facing this way and the devotees would all sit along here and engage in kirtan and hear Harikatha from Gurudev's lotus mouth. So we have many fond memories of being here with our Divine Master. We can see from here it's a double story building. Gurudev's taste himself, he could live anywhere and everywhere very simply but he's always thinking of the Vaishnavas and those who are visiting and coming on pilgrimage. So we'll go upstairs and we'll see what's taking place. So this is the veranda, the outside part of the L shape. And this is where Gurudev used to sit. Actually, he used to sit in different places, but he's got a bed here with his photo and he's got pictures of his Gurudev, his Gurudev's guru, etc., etc., step by step. Though right now the order is not quite the same as it would have been. And uh, so here on this veranda, Gurudev gave very sweet discourses. He was very much at home, very happy to be here. And some reminders of the worldwide mission too, with the St. Petersburg deities, pictures on the wall. And from here, then Gurudev, he, uh, after this house was made, he started the actual construction of the main temple. So first service to the devotees, then service to the Lord and we see how beautifully the temple has manifest. So this is a place in Govardhan, the Srila Sridhar Swami Seva Ashram. It is literally one block off from the Parakram path that goes around Govardhan Hill. And here we are soaking up, feeling, appreciating the mood of our wonderful Srila Govinda Maharaj in a place where he was so happy and so content. We welcome all devotees to the Parakram programs to come in coordination with the organizers.